What's up everybody? Tactical here. I'm going to, I've decided to continue the Let's Play of Halo Combat Evolved for a couple reasons. One, it's a game I know more, and I've played more, and beaten more than Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Second reason, I have received some feedback personally, uh, not on the channel, but to my personal social media from a viewer who's a friend of mine, saying that the audio in Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, the game audio, was so loud to the point where they could, and it was difficult to hear me, and, which I understand, I did, I, before, you know, as you can see in the beginning of the video, probably, I think I left it in there, if I didn't stop recording and restart again, I really can't remember already, but I tried to find an option in the game to lower the audio of the game, there's no option for it. Changing the master volume on the Xbox didn't do it. It's just super loud. So I'll continue that let's play when I'm able to uh, go in and edit audio of the to the audio of the recording and lower the in-game audio and make it the background so you can hear me more. And when I'm able to do that, I'll also take down the current video that's up there, re-edit it, and repost it. But Last time we left off playing Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary Edition of, on the Halo Master Chief Collection, we had gotten to the second mission of the game, which, uh, ironically, is titled Halo. Let's get into it. Seek out the surviving Marines and help them fight the Covenant. And actually, in one of the uh, groups on Facebook I'm involved in to, uh... Chief? Chief, can you hear me? Oh, wait a minute. The last. Are you alright? I'm alright. move? Yeah, I can move. Mother's the impact. Picking up grenades. There's nothing we can do. Not a single mar Marine survived the drop. Anyway, I, I got... I wouldn't say an argument. I'd say more of a debate. Warning. I've detected multiple Covenant dropships on approach. I recommend moving into those hills. If we're lucky, the Covenant will believe that everyone aboard this lifeboat died yeah. in a crash. Yeah, sure they will. Anyway, um, it was more of a debate in one of the Facebook groups I used to actually, you know, Alert. The channel. Covenant dropship inbound. They must be looking for survivors. I recommend immediate evasion. And, uh, the topic... Because this person made a post talking about, basically the gist of it is they wanted to remove easy and normal difficulties from games. Uh, ma mainly Halo, because it is a Halo-focused group, but I have, I assume this person meant it for all games. Who the fuck is shooting at Come on, you little bastard. Uh huh. Man, it's just a But anyway, like, and basically with Halo, uh, adding a difficulty, a difficulty that's kind of between heroic and legendary, just to make the game a little more challenging. The, and I took up issue with this because there are people out there who want to play video games. But they don't want to, you know, deal with the challenge, or they just want to play it casually just to have fun, or to get immersed in the story, right? Especially with Halo, because at least the first three games, maybe Reach and ODST, but definitely the first three Halo games, the writing of the story was immaculate. Right. And, you know, that. Props for the story writing go out to the people at Bungie. You know, 343 three Industries, in my opinion, just haven't done as good of a job as they can do with the Halo franchise. I'm sorry to you fans who prefer the 343 three games in the Halo franchise to the Bungie ones. Maybe it's maybe uh, a lot of people that I've talked to who prefer. You know, uh, I'm the ones a life that are beacon over the next hill. Uh, you should check made by 343, three, mainly Halo 4 and 5. That prefer those to uh, Halos 1, 2, and 3. And ODST. I think ODST was in the Bungie. Uh, 
Uh, usually, let me see if I can turn down the audio a little bit, make sure you guys can hear me. Come on, there's got to be something I can use here. Um, is there no... I may end up going to the menu real quick. Um, yeah, let me let me save and quit and go to the main menu and uh, see if I can lower the game audio, like the audio of the guns, just a little bit. Uh, but anyway, uh, the people, who, you know, with you know a lot. Anyway, where I was saying the people who enjoyed the three, four, three Halo games more than the uh, original trilogy. And the other ones that Bungie did, it's because they started with the 343 games. You know, and there's no way I can turn it down. You've got to be kidding me. Are you serious? I really hope you guys can hear me in game when I'm shooting and stuff. Um, let me see if I can turn down the master volume here. I know this is a lot, and I wish I could edit this out, and I, do, I am sorry, you guys. Um, how the hell do I fix this? Is there no... I don't think I can fix it, you guys. So, I really do hope you guys can hear me over the uh, game. But, yeah... Yeah, usually the ones who prefer the 3 4 3 games to the Bungie games in the Halo franchise. Like I said, they usually started with the games at 3 4 3. And I can understand that, but for someone like me who's been Halo since day one, like OG Halo player, where the hell was I? Uh, the, the games that 3 4 3 made in the Halo franchise just don't stack up at all. Here, let me switch to original graphics. Maybe that'll fix it. And, you know, I do wish Bungie had never left or stopped making Halo, because there's nobody who can do it better. I'm sorry. 343, their story writing, it's... Don't worry, Sergeant. We'll stay here until evac arrives. Their story writing. I have a hard time getting this too. I find it so god awful, boring, and just poorly written stuff like that. They could have done so much better. And I'm sure they tried their best to come up with the best possible, especially with with what they had. To I don't know if this is true though, but I have heard, I have heard, I am not stating fact or anything, I'm not spreading rumors, I am just repeating uh, rumors that I've heard, but I have heard that there Look are, there were, when 343 was put in fact and took charge of the Halo franchise, I heard that there was quite a few developers and story writers on the, on the team. Once again, this is not true, you know. Feel free to look If this is true, it's kind of appalling. Yeah, but I've heard that some of the store writers, developers, 343 when they took over and started to make Halo 4, had never played or even heard how the story plays out in the original trilogy. If that's the case. Why put them on the team? Like, if you put them on the team and then found that out, that should have, you know, before you started making the game, that should have been immediate, okay, you ain't working on this uh -oh, another bandit franchise in behind us. They're trying to until us. you play the first three games all the way through and learn the story. You know? That's the way at least I would run it, because I, 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 I mean, let's say, let's say if there's a other... Let's, let's find another beloved franchise. Then, uh, 
has been good since the start. And hasn't ch has changed at all. Uh, so I don't know. Uh, even though it doesn't. Even though it. Uh, the games don't. Continue the same story with the same person. Let's look at Elder Scrolls. Or. The other. Uh, well, wait a minute. I can't say that for Fallout. Because Fallout actually was. But let's look at the Elder Scrolls screen. Six. Uh, I don't know about you guys. Really know. I know. I've never even played Hammerfell, nor do I want to. I have seen the gameplay of it, and I don't know. At least for me, as an old person, I would never play Hammerfell. I haven't played one, two, and three. I didn't know about Earth Ghost until I played. Anyway, let's take that to say it does the stuff. Oh. Gave it to, I don't know, uh, on a whim. Let's say they gave it to BioWare. Now, we, now, we know BioWare has Roger, Echo just this is not Charlie. done well in the past couple of years, especially Roger, with their Team handling Charlie. of the Good Mass Effect you. games. Oh god, oh, I, Hammer, I we don't need want to bring up that end of the Mass Effect 3, and I've heard... I haven't played way. Andromeda, but I've heard it's Look, more lifeboats. not great They're coming either. in fast. If those lifeboats but make it down, the Covenant are going to let's say right on top of them. The Elder Scrolls Go franchise Hammer, was put in charge. We need you to disengage your warthog. Uh, the Master Chief fire. and I are going to see if we can save some soldiers. Uh, Roger, Cortana. And they... Uh, okay, ooh, Charlie Team, Warthog deployed. And they decided... Well, we're going to put a new team on it. We're going to rehire any of the original people who worked on it. And... And, uh, Those people they put on it had never played an Elder Scrolls game. They don't know the story of any of the games. Ready to roll! You know? Something like that. And then put them on. And they screwed the game up. Now, they could have played up Bioware's other games, other franchises like Mass Effect or anything, what have you. But the problem is, when a new developing company, at least this is my opinion, maybe. like I said, it's opinion, not fact, it's not expertise, this is my opinion. When a new developing company takes over an already beloved franchise, like 343. This cave is not a natural formation. Uh, Halo. Someone built it. So it must lead somewhere. If you have people on the development of the story writing team I've that don't know the at least, that don't at least know the You're story in detail of the original games, whether they you show them who they're dealing with. You know, I'd go back to Master Chief. Let's say I'm going to use your suit's transcom system franchise. to monitor their chatter. Let's say, you know, they decide to turn it into another game that's in the style of Dragon Age or Mass Effect, where it's branching. It's a branching story. The outcome of the story just depends on the choices you make. What the hell is this? I don't remember this in the original game. What the fuck is this? It's a terminal. Oh, sweet. I don't even know. Alright, we're not going to worry about the terminals. I've never seen those before. I guess this is... But... Oh. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see this. Alright, there we go. You guys probably couldn't see that, but... Uh, even though I'm streaming to the PC from the Xbox, I'm actually watching my TV screen. Oh, I got an achievement in Game Pass. Cool. But it was like Master Chief was looking up and just spinning. You guys probably just froze on screen. But anyway, you know, I wouldn't. I, I'm not saying that taking an Elder Scrolls game and making it like a branching story game. I have no idea where the fuck I'm going. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but at least know what the Elder Scrolls games are. About maybe, and I just took my goddamn one. Tap dancing Christ! Get in, idiots! Showtime! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Shut up. Uh, but you know, you guys. I hope you guys know where I'm going with this. No, the original games. They're supposed to be developing a new iteration. Know the story at least in detail. And for God's sakes, play the game too. 
if you don't know the story in detail, you don't want to read, play the freaking games. And like I said, this is pure, this is the only rumor that I have heard online, and I know to take a lot of stuff to read on the internet with a grain of salt, because most of it is not true. But if this instance is true, 343, what in the blue hell were you thinking? Let's get out of this ward. I'll go up here and turn that damn light brick. Wait, who the hell? Eat lit, bastard. I hate jackals. I hate them, I hate them, I hate them. Jackal, piss me off. I'm actually gonna try to go through this without using a single enemy weapon. I know this is childish, but screw you. Uh, but yeah. If that is true, 343 Industries, what in the blue hell were you thinking? I always do this when I play this game. Wait. Yes! I always break that glass. I don't know why it's so satisfying. But, anyway. Let's continue on. Let's get the set of light bridge activated. Man, this is beautiful. Even with your... And even in the original graphics, this game was beautiful. I'm sorry. You know, some people say the original game's graphics didn't age well. I think they still age pretty good. I still think they look great. And I'm going to be honest, I'm switching back to original. The original graphics I enjoy more because nostalgia. I don't remember how to throw a fucking grenade. I just realized that. I have no clue what I'm doing. Is it the same button? Yes, same button. I had to make sure. Alright, let's get across that light bridge and kick some more ass. Kick some whoop, some more covenant ass. Yeah. Word of tip, plan if you're playing Halo for the first time, never let the AI drive. They will not move on until every single enemy is killed. I There's keep driving like on the covenant shoot. battle network. A lot more crew made it off the autumn than I had predicted. The captain really gave them hell. Yes, he did. If we I, can find I am so Captain glad this game and the other survivors, like, we have a chance to coordinate an effective resistance. Subtitles for dialogue that's not a cutscene in this version, in the Master Chief Collection. I enjoy that. Because sometimes, you know, in, when it's not a cutscene and Cortana talks, she talks, her voice actor so soft-spoken. I love her to death. I don't know her name. But I love her to death, but she is soft-spoken, so I'm just difficult to hear. Especially when you're talking and doing this. Uh oh. But yeah. 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 Alright. I'm about to say something, another phrase, but I think that phrase is copyrighted. Copyrighted. I think. I don't know. I don't think. It wasn't that much of a jump, you idiot. Here's the first lifeboat, so... Ah, beacons. Beacons. Let's follow the beacon. These warthogs are a bitch to drive, but over the years of driving them Maybe they took cover in, the, in, that in these games, Let's check it out. I uh, have no... It, it's a lot easier than it is the first time you get behind the wall. Come on, shoot their ass! Ah, oh, 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 you prick. I'm not a wall, you pussy. Shoot him. Alright, screw this. I'm just gonna get out and start kicking their asses myself. Because you guys suck. Eat lead, dickhead. Fort, fort, fort. 
I love whoever did the voice actors for the company. Oh, I missed. Damn it. Got you. We should search the interior of those structures before we leave. Oh, There's one dead marine. There's gotta be some living room right here somewhere. That is the easiest way to deal with them jackals. Hit them. I've called for an evac. Sweet. Roger that. Marines, assemble for evac. Pronto. Hoorah. Right. I hope we kick some covenant ass. We saved some marines. Couldn't save all of them, unfortunately. Oh, well, we saved some of them. I mean, at least, you know, better to save some of them than save none of them. Wouldn't you guys agree? I got, I'm so, I see, that's the problem with switching from Fallout to freaking Halo. I am so used to, uh, pressing the way to jump. Now, the hell is this guy? What the hell are you doing, you idiot? They're following me still. Motherfucker, don't follow me. Don't follow me, please. I am in a vehicle. I will run your ass over. Oh, look. Enemy. More of them. Well, if there's more of them, let's kick some more ass, shall we? Dumbass. Trap him in the corner. Smack him in the mouth. Alright, that's all those. There's gotta be, I think there's... Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Where you at? There's one more around here. Where are you at, you bastard? I'm a bitch smacking. He's up. Second floor. Second floor. I'm gonna go up there. I'm a bitch smacking. I hope I don't... I hope those guys don't get killed. Being stupid because all the guys pistols. You got bitch slapped. We should secure the area before the dropship arrives. I'm working on it, woman. Off my damn back. I think it's secure. Nope, got one more. Where the hell is it? There we go. Cortana. They Come killed it. We read you, Echo 419. We have survivors and need immediate dust off. Roger, Cortana. There's full hammer. I've spotted additional lifeboats in your area. One near a rock slide. And another near the head of the river. Thanks, full hammer. Hard to see from my altitude, but it looks like there are more survivors. Acknowledged. We're on our way. Thanks, Echo 419. Alright. Let's get moving, guys. We got more ground to cover. I think one of them. Okay. Oh, shit! Got it! Way to go! Uh huh, rock slide. Nope. Here comes more! Eh, dumbass, you jump right in front of me here. Oh, they got a lot of them here. I think this is the one on the hill where we can pick up a sniper. Oh. Now y'all about to see some There's real... There's some Marines hiding in the hills above the structure. Sniper quality. You got the freaking thing. You're a sight for sore eyes, Chief. We're in a bad way. We've got wounded here. Oh, great. I'll call in a dropship to pick them up. Boom. Now let's see if I can pick some of these bastards off. Down. See what I'm saying? Where are these fuckers? Bastard. 
All right, here we go. Damn, these, these things don't die. You. No scope, you prick. Got all of them. Can't be all of them. Uh huh. Right nuts. Do aliens even have nuts? Oh, we got more. Come on. They move right when I pull the damn trigger. Yeah, I know I'm a nice shot. Oh, you prick! I had you dead in my sights. Alright, screw this. Fuck this shit. Right in the face. Any more? Let's make sure there are no Covenant uh -huh. hiding in the area. I'm low on ammo. Damn. On station and ready for another pickup. I think one of these guys are going to We're ready for dust off. Approach when ready. Yeah, another We're one's going got to look one. for the last lifeboat, Echo 419. I can pick up Good some luck. more ammo, I think, at the next spot for the next lifeboat. So, I am going to head that way. I'm just going to head back the way I came through. So now i got to find the one near the rock slide. Stupid tree. Out of my way. Master Chief coming through to whip some ass. Alright, now I gotta figure out where the damn rock slide was. Warning, I picked up reports that the Covenant has located and secured the Pillar of Autumn's crash site. Christ. The good news is the captain is still alive. Huh. The bad news is that the Covenant have captured the entire surviving command. You're yanking me. Let's hurry and find the final lifeboat so we can link up with the rest of the survivors. Yeah, no shit, man. How does that feel? We gotta save keys, man. Alright, let's get in here and finish this off. We can end this, end this, end this mission and the video. Survivors detected. Marines are concealed in those rocks. Damn! Come on! Enough! Quit getting out of the way! Quit being a wood! Quit being a wood! Come on! Oh, I see her. She. Whoa! Alright, let me go up there and get some more ammo for my sniper. What's up, guys? Cavalry's arrived. Yeah, damn right. Alright, I think if you go up here, you can get more ammo for a sniper rifle and also get a key sniping point. I think. Don't quote me on that. Damn it. I know there's a way up there. I know there's a freaking way up there, and it's kind of pissing me off. I can't remember how to do it. Because they just dropped off some enemies, and I want more sniper ammo. I mean, I know you start off the next mission with a sniper rifle, but this part, of, this part of this mission is a lot easier if you've got a decent sniper rifle. I know there's ammo for the damn thing up here. I suppose it be. There usually is. I can't believe it. I'm gonna have to kill one of my own men to get a freaking sniper. Get some sniper. Oh no, wait. No, I think there's somebody down by a lifeboat. We could use your help, sir. Hey, you're gonna get my help. I'm gonna kick somebody's ass. Hey, idiots! Get out of the warthog. Uh huh. I knew there was some somewhere around here. Stuff. 
foot. Bang. I know there's more. Come on. Striking axe. Or as Cartman said in the Nintendo 64 South Park game, do aliens even have asses? Let's see if I can pop some out of here. Like, as soon as this thing opens, sometimes you can shoot them out of the drop ship before they even hit the ground. See what I'm saying? Alright, now let's go ape shit. Look down. I think that's all of them. Now we just gotta get this pecker wood. Oh, no, here comes another one. Eh, quit shooting me, asshole. Come on, come on, come on. Shot one through the door. Perfect. I think I killed them all. I don't think there's any more coming. I don't think. Ow, 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 you've got to be kidding me. Captain Keys. He's Yay. being held on a Covenant cruiser, the Truth and Reconciliation, a ship I disabled before we abandoned the Autumn. Truth and Rec. The Truth and Reconciliation touched down on a desert plateau roughly 300 kilometers uh -huh. upspin. All right. There's our ride. Get aboard and let's get out of here. Welcome aboard, Master Chief. Ready for dust off. Damn right. We should move let's... out, Lieutenant. And then we'll need your help on a rescue mission. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the content and this mission. In the next episode, we're going to save Captain Keys and some more of the crew from the Pillar of Autumn. The enemy has captured Captain Keys and, and are holding him aboard one of their cruisers. Once again, the if you like, the if you enjoy what you watch, be sure to leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that post notification bell so you have to be notified when new videos go up. You can choose to be notified for all or some of the videos. If you, and also, I do welcome comments. Please leave comments below. Don't forget to follow the tw my, uh, my Twitter and Instagram, which will also be linked in the description. Share the video out. Let's grow this community together. And I will see you guys in the next one.